Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about our farm stand. are done in the garden other than some watering and maybe some light weeding now and then but now we can spend most of our energies and efforts on other things so we're gonna get ready for our farm stand the vegetables will be coming in about a month and we have a farm stand to put up and some fence to put in and some parking to figure out I just went ahead earlier today and yesterday and cleared out pine needles and pine cones and a bunch of stuff that was in the farm stand area. So let me go ahead and show you around and show you what we've been up to and what our plans are. Let's go check it out. This wall was originally here for a little bit of privacy and aesthetic look and we decided to add our farm stand to the right of it a couple years back which was just a pop-up gazebo easy up with walls around it great walls they call it it was like a tarp fabric tippy that went around the outside of the pop-up and we had a little table in there with some coolers and some picture frames with a couple little uh, comments from us uh, what our goals were and what we plan to do with the garden for the years to come and this year we are bigger and better as far as the garden we plan to get a lot more we put in a lot more put in a lot more time, a lot more work. It was a lot easier since we were here. So we decided to go bigger and better with the farm stand. So let me take you around the area in which our farm stand is gonna be. We plan to put the farm stand right about here. Maybe a little less than my arm span, and maybe about eight to ten feet out. It's going to be freestanding with a double angled roof. And then up here, we plan to put the parking. We've been reading into uh, gardening, vegetable gardening, marketing ideas. So what we plan to do with this area is turn it into parking. They said one of the most important things about the parking is people need to get in easier or be able to get out easier and in easier. So we're going to put a cedar fence post type deal right here and allow for plenty of people to park here. I'd say three to four cars could probably fit there. Also, what we plan to do is put up a fence. We plan to put up a fence straight across here with possibly a door and a gate. We got some free fence posts that were passed down to me from my grandmother and it fell into our hands at the perfect time. So it'll look real nice in here with a fence up, a 4x10, double roofed little farm stand with a cedar fence out front. And this is just the before shots. You can see obviously that I went through and raked out all the debris. Compare this spot. So maybe that spot back there, there's even a small pile there. The 
if you'd like to check out our other farm stand to see the difference between what it looks like now and what it looked like then, you can check in the descriptions below and we'll post that video. And we'll also post another video as we go. Um, I might make a video on how we make the little farm stand, how we do the fence, how we do the front cedar fence. And we'll definitely do at least an updated video of everything. Uh, so much on the list of things to do with so little time. We'll try to make those videos if we can. If not, like I said, we'll definitely make an update with everything together. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Check you next time. Peace.